welcome back to Papa Red Fishing. Well, we're back out in the bait shop. Weather's turning a little bit colder here in uh, the Midwest. We're just south of Chicago here in, in Illinois. And uh, they're calling for our first chance of snow tomorrow morning. So, unfortunately, it looks like our regular fishing season is winding down. And uh, we haven't had too much of an ice fishing season around here lately with mild winters and, and not much ice on the water. So, we're going to get back to making some baits. And I've got a, an idea that's been floating around in my head for a few weeks. And I uh, want to get started on it. So, we're going to take a look real quick. I have put together a sketch for what I'm calling the official 2020 fishing lure. And I'm going to give you a quick peek here real quick and uh, we're going to get started. We're going to grab some wood and we're going to get going on this thing, but I really can't think of a better way to uh, kind of wrap up 2020 in a fishing lure. There you have it. We got a nice little crankbait, nice lip on it wearing a mask just like everyone else so we're gonna see if uh, we can put this thing together again and together and uh, get us out on the water do some testing I don't know who knows water's gonna be pretty cold but we'll try it we're gonna we water test everything as long as there's uh, as long as the, the water's still flowing and it's not solid whatever we test we're, whatever we make we're gonna test we're gonna put it in the water so we're gonna get going on this thing get some wood get started on it and uh, hopefully you guys will Take along with me and we're going to put together the official 2020 lure from Papa Red Fishing. All right, well, there's the pretty much finished shape of the mask. This thing will stay focused. There we go. So I'm going to finish uh, sanding out all these details around the body, and then I have to carve in the gill plate so that we've got something to strap the mask to, obviously. Okay, it is the next night, and right now, as you can see, I got the mask pretty much all done. Did a little more sanding on that. 
we'll do a little more cleanup as we do our final sanding but see I got the eyes marked on each side with an awl and we are going to start carving in the gill plate All right, lots of sanding. It is time to put some eyeballs, you know, eye sockets into this. And then once we do that, we're gonna cut a lip for it. Maybe I'll drill our hole for our lead. Seal it up. And uh, I think we're gonna make a mold out of this one. Okay, so you guys can see that I've got my eye sockets drilled. What I like to do, especially when I'm making a mold, is I will do what I did with the uh, with the little mini Dremel and clean all the the burrs out. I missed one there, but then what I like to do so that I can get a nice flat surface to glue the eye in and to get it exactly the depth that I want, I'll take and put a little bit of baking soda into the eye socket and I'll get it flat. So you can see how that makes that nice and flat. And then I just put a drop of super glue in there. Maybe two. And that seals that up. And now that's nice and flat. And if you have to adjust it a little bit, you can. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Okay. So there's the finished eyes. Took me a little bit to find a bit that wasn't worn out. Need to invest in a little more, a few more of those. So let's figure out what we are going to do for our lip. Okay, there's our finished lip, at least so far. Unless we decide to make some changes, but uh, I think that is going to work just fine. Okay, so we're going to put our lead hole right up here toward the middle of the belly. So it's going to be a little more toward the front, so we'll get a nice wobble out of it. And then we'll put our first hook hanger there, and obviously our second one there, and our Probably do our line tie right in the middle of the mask. I think we are going to do a little more sanding. There's a couple little spots that I see. That I'd like to take care of um, but you know, I put a dent in the side of the gill with the uh, vise so I gotta sand that out um, but we're gonna sand this out we're gonna get it sealed and we will get this ready for the mold I'm not gonna show you guys the whole molding process 
There's plenty of videos out there that show that. If you want to see how I do it, you can see my gray squirrel build. Um, I've got the full process of the mold in there. But um, looks like I'll be back after we get the mold done. So you go ahead and take a break. It'll be about 10 seconds for you. It's probably going to be a few days for me. So we'll be back on this. Alright, welcome back. So you've just seen a couple pictures of the de of the molding process. Um, I actually demolded this thing this morning before I went to work and this is what it looks like with a little bit of green modeling clay on it still. Um, but this is our master. We're going to set this aside so if I need to make any more molds later I can do the exact same thing. Here's our finished mold. You can see we got the two halves. Everything turned out really good so before I went to work this morning I actually poured one and demolded it and I've been cleaning it all up but there we have it that is our finished blank so I've actually got the lead pot plugged in right now and you can see we've got the hole and everything is a is part of the mold so the lip slot in the, the lead hole it's part of the, the mold, so it's ready to go once it comes out, clean it up, sand it up, and uh, once I get the lead in here, seal that up, I've got the lip cut, we can get that glued in, and we can get ready to start painting this bad boy. So anyway, we're going to let the lead pot heat up, we're going to put some lead in this thing, and we're going to get this thing finished up tonight. All right, there we have it. Hardware's in, everything's loaded up. The lip is in. Time to uh, mask this off. Start putting some color on this baby. Yeah. All right, so we got Everything sprayed white. We got the mask masked off. Um, it kind of gives you an idea of what it's going to look like. It's not going to be quite that dark blue, but I haven't really given this too much thought about what paint we're going to do. So we're just going to do something classic. We'll just do a, a baby bluegill. Um, that'll give us a nice black spot on the back of the blue of the of the uh, gill plate. That we can run the strings for the mask around and be nice and quick. Let's hit it.
All right, well, there's the main paint job. Came out pretty good. Simple pattern, nothing fancy. But now we're gonna peel this uh, tape off the mask, see how much of the base coat we are gonna tear off with the tape. I'm sure some of it will come off. And then we are going to start painting our surgical mask. That's not horrible. A little bit of paint's coming off. I really like this thing. Poker. It's <laughs> cool. It actually looks like some of the white masks that people are wearing. But, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to, I think, go with the blue. <laughs> Let's finish this thing up. I'm sorry, that is just freaking cool. I'm going to add a little bit of shadow maybe to it, some highlights, and then I'm going to do a string from the mask behind the gill plate uh, where the mask is being strapped on. And then we're going to put some eyes on this thing and get it in some clear coat. This thing is bad. I love this. This is so cool. Check it out. This year stocking stuffer. <laughs> I love it. Let's finish this thing up. All right. All the detail is added. You can see I put a little bit of shading on the mask. But we are going to clear coat this thing. There we have it. Fresh out of the uh, the UV. Got some hooks on it. Clear coat's nice and hard. I like it. So tomorrow, or sometime this weekend, we will get this thing out and get it in the water. See what it does. Uh, I'm fairly confident it's going to do pretty good, but uh, like I said, this is not just a not just a pretty face. This should be a very functional lure, and I think uh, I don't know how much we'll catch this time of year when it's this cold out, but we're going to give it a shot. So, you guys, hang hang out, and uh, we will get out on the water. We'll water test this thing, see if we can't get anything, and then we will head back to the bait shop to wrap up the video. But We'll see you on the lake. All right, hey everybody. So we are out here at the area club. Out here with my son, DJ. Say hi, DJ. Hey. Uh, he's testing out one of his new lures that he just made. He's got a lipless crank. Anyway, we're going to try this out. Spin this around. And not film my hand. 
we go. There's the mass bandit. So we're in this little pond that we've done pretty well with. Um, we're going to give this a shot, see what kind of action we got, and hopefully catch a little something, but if not, we'll at least get a good action shot. Let's see what we got. some other spots. I'll roll the film uh, while we're drying them, but we have to catch something. So that's what I'll show you guys. Is, uh, Right, guys well we're gonna wrap this up there's our last picture on the water with our mass bandit but uh it's freezing it's absolutely freezing this wind is brutal i mean i know it looks nice and sunny out here but it's cold i can't feel my fingers anymore so we're gonna pack it up uh i'll see you guys back at the bait shop i'm gonna go defrost see you in a bit all right, welcome back to the bait shop. We finished defrosting. It was cold out there today. Sun was shining, beautiful looking day. Wind was blowing like crazy. It's 42 degrees, I think the air temperature was, but it felt like 20. So anyway, we took the uh, took a couple new baits out there. We tried them out. Um, we tried out the Mass Bandit. It's got decent movement. Uh, it's definitely going to be a probably a summertime bait doesn't dive very deep gets down about two feet um, like I said we could probably change the lip angle on that and get it to go a little deeper but to be totally honest with you this would be a really nice surface wake bait you know if you let it rise up to the surface and then just kind of reel it nice and slow it's got a real nice back and forth action so it works really good as a, as a surface bait um, obviously I'm not gonna catch anything on that right now but I'm happy with it and to be totally honest with you you know this is a uh, this is just a fun bait um, I'm gonna be offering these up uh, to, in a select number to some people. Um, I've already got quite a few orders for it, but uh, a lot of people are wanting to use these as Christmas ornaments, so I, I get that too. So, anyway, um, I'm gonna keep working on these. Uh, just wanted to show you guys one last time that really just cool looking bait. Sums up 2020 perfectly, um, but it was fun. It was fun building it. I'm glad you guys tagged along with me. Wish I could have caught a little something on it, but just, uh, you know, the, the weather gods weren't having it. So, anyway, I appreciate you guys. Uh, make sure you like this video if you enjoy the content. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I, I sincerely appreciate it. Check me out on Instagram and uh, give me a follow there for all kinds of different stuff that we're going to have going on. With this weather turning the way it is, we're going to be spending quite a bit of time out here in the bait shop. So, keep your eyes peeled. We're going to have some really cool stuff. I got quite a few ideas churning up in here um, but we're going to be kicking out some cool stuff over the winter so anyway thanks a lot for following along i appreciate it we'll see you next time pop a red out